हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सेट बैक डिस्टेंस सेट बैक डिस्टेंस इज द क्लियरेंस डिस्टेंस रिक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम सेंटर लाइन ऑफ अ हॉरिजॉन्टल कर्व टू एन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन हियर द सेंटर लाइन ऑफ द कर्व इज शोन लाइक दिस and the distance required from the center line of a horizontal curve to an obstruction is known as setback distance now this distance is known as setback distance on the inner side of the curve to provide adequate side distance at a horizontal curve generally it is provided on the inner side of the curve now we have to find the value of setback distance as per the two cases for single lane road and for two lane road now the first case is for single lane road in which the first condition is length of curve is greater than side distance now here the length of curve is shown like this and the side distance is shown up to this point that is the side distance now here the length of curve is greater than side distance so we need to find the value of setback distance which is represented as m here now we will name this figure that is o a c b and this distance is d so setback distance will be equals to m and it will be equals to cd now the value of cd will be equals to oc minus od now we will put the value of oc and od up to the center line of the curve the value of this distance is known as radius of the curve which is represented as r and this angle is known as alpha by 2 as well as this angle is also known as alpha by 2 and here is the obstruction like this so the value of m will be equals to r minus r cos alpha by 2 now we will take the r as common and the remaining value will be equals to 1 minus cos alpha by to that will be the value of setback distance for single lane road when the length of curve is greater than side distance and we can calculate the value of alpha by 2 by the concept of perimeter of the circle that is for alpha by 2 angle or we can just say that for alpha angle that is for this complete alpha angle the perimeter will be equals to s and for 360 degree angle the value of perimeter is 2 pi r on solving this we will get the value of alpha by 2 which will be equals to 180 into s upon 2 pi r now by using this formula we can calculate the value of alpha by 2 now we will move to the second point that is length of curve is less than side distance now if the length of curve is less than side distance then the figure will be like this that is the length of curve that will be known as side distance which is shown here that is s this distance will be equals to up to this point this distance will be equals to s minus lc by 2 and the remaining thing will be same that is the radius of the curve which is up to this point now we will name this figure that a e c f d g o and this angle is alpha by 2 as well as this angle is also alpha by 2 now setback distance m will be equals to nothing but the cd and cd will be equals to cg which is shown here that is cg plus gd now the value of cg will be equals to same as that of the previous case that is r minus r cos alpha by 2 and the value of gd will be equals to e h which is shown here that is the value of e h we will take the common that is r and the remaining value will be equals to 1 minus cos alpha by 2 and the value of e h will be equals to s minus lc by 2 whole in bracket into sin alpha by 2 now we will calculate the value of setback distance it will be equals to r 1 minus cos alpha by 2 plus s minus lc by 2 sin alpha by 2 that will be the value of setback distance now we will calculate the 
setback distance as per the second case that is for two lane road now for two lane road we will consider the first case as length of curve is greater than side distance now when length of curve is greater than side distance which is shown here now this distance d is known as w by 4 w is the width of the overall pavement which is shown here now if we want to calculate the setback distance for this it will be equals to again we will name this figure as o d c a and the last one is b now setback distance will be equals to cd it will be equals to oc minus od now we will put the value of oc which will be equals to r and the value of od will be equals to here this distance is r minus d so it will be equals to r minus d cos alpha by 2 because this angle is alpha by 2 now this is the value of setback distance that is r minus in bracket r minus d cos alpha by 2 now we have to calculate the value of alpha by 2 so that we will use the concept of perimeter of the circle that is for alpha angle the value of perimeter will be equals to s that is the side distance and for 360 degree angle the perimeter will be equals to 2 pi r minus d on solving this we will get the value of alpha by 2 which will be equals to 180 into s upon 2 pi into r minus d that will be the value of alpha by 2 so we will calculate the value of alpha by 2 here and we will put the value in this equation and we will calculate the setback distance now we will move to the next case that is when length of curve is less than side distance and we will directly write its formula it will be equals to r minus r minus d into cos alpha by 2 that will be the setback distance of previous case plus s minus lc by 2 into sin alpha by 2 that will be the value of setback distance when length of curve is less than side distance now here we will calculate the value of alpha by 2 that is for alpha degree angle the value of perimeter is s and for 360 degree angle the value of perimeter is 2 pi r minus d now from this we will get the value of alpha by 2 as 180 into s upon 2 pi into r minus d now by using this formula we will calculate the value of alpha by 2 and by putting the value in this equation we will get the setback distance now note is written here that is setback distance from center line of inner lane is m minus d setback distance from center line of outer lane is m plus d setback distance from inner edge of pavement is m minus 2d and setback distance from outer edge of pavement is m plus 2d now generally this case is asked in the gate exam so you have to consider this case for the setback distance that is all about the setback distance thank you students